Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that we link with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Sponsored today by Unibet. Do not forget Unibet have got some brilliant, brilliant articles all about football. We've got all the latest news, brilliant transfer news. And uh, also look out for some articles that are going to be on there from myself as well. Right, So make sure you check that out. The link is in the description, so jump on it right now. Um, Unibet, some brilliant stuff that they're doing. As I said, look out for my articles as well. Um, Marcello, brilliant, brilliant player who plays for Real Madrid at left back. Um, lots of reports flying around that Arsenal are interested in signing the Brazilian superstar. Uh, Marcello's now 31, so he's uh, not a spring chicken anymore. But um, the reports coming out of Spain is that he's asked to leave Real Madrid. Now, he's not really been that happy at Real Madrid since um, Ronaldo left. They're really, really good friends. Um, we all know that last season, um, Real Madrid didn't have the greatest of seasons. But also now, Real Madrid have signed uh, Ferlan Mendy from Lyon. Um, I think they paid about £47 million for him. And um, it means now that there's really serious competition uh, for Marcello, um, sorry, for that left back position. And Marcello has reportedly told Real Madrid that he would like to move on. Um, Arsenal, apparently, according to the rumours, are said to be uh, interested in signing him. Um, they face a lot of competition from other clubs, including some real big clubs. Uh, PSG said to be interested, Juventus, AC Milan. Um, but Arsenal being heavily linked with Marcello, I, I have to admit, I, I just can't see Marcello moving um, to Arsenal. The, the, the big one, forget about even the, how much money it will cost, is the fact that there'd be no Champions League football. And um, Marcello's a guy used to playing in those real top competitions year in, year out. I just can't see Marcello opting to go and play in the Europa League. Um, but being heavily linked with a move today, uh, the Brazilian Mar he is a brilliant player, brilliant, brilliant player. But is he at the twilight of his career? That is the question. Um, the more likely thing to happen will be Kevin Tierney. Um, Kieran Tierney, Kevin Tierney. Kieran Tierney of Celtic, um, 22 years of age, so a lot younger than Marcelo. Listen, you can't put him in the same bracket as a Marcelo because Marcello is simply an awesome player. Um, but he's a player on the up. And, the, you know, Arsenal been heavily linked to sign him. Uh, you know, been quite surprising, actually, that it's not been done already. There were lots of rumours flying around yesterday that he was seen boarding a flight to London. Um, I think a lot of it was just, um, you know, rumours flying around. You know, you always get these sort of rumours at this time of, you know, when players are close... Oh, they were spotted looking for a house at a local estate agents in London, etc., etc. But those rumours were flying around. But I think the real one that is uh, really telling is the fact that Celtic uh, have signed uh, this left back, Bolly um, Bolingoli, from Rapid Vienna, and uh, it does look like he is the replacement left back for Kieran Tierney when Tierney does, as expected, turn up at Arsenal. There's also been links, of course, with Napoli, but as I've been sort of saying, I still think that Tierney will become an Arsenal player, um, but we still await that signing if it happens. Now, um, Arsenal linked today with a centre-back, and we all know how desperately we need a quality centre-back um, at the team. He plays over in Brazil, but he's Argentinian. His name is called uh, Walter Kennerman. Walter Kennerman. Um, he's 28 and he plays for Gremio in Brazil. Now, his value ran about uh, 12 million pounds. He's an Argentinian international. And um, the reports coming out of Brazil is that Arsenal have made contact with Gremio over Walter Kenneman. Um, they're interested in signing him. We know, as, as um, every Arsenal fan knows, we need a centre back. And they have identified this guy as the player that could possibly come in. Um, £12 million pounds wouldn't be a lot of money, you know, especially with all the talk of the limited budget, etc. So he'd fit the bill perfectly. I can't say I know a lot about um, Kenneman, um, but 
seems to be quite highly rated. Um, and as I said, um, quite a few clubs interested in him. I, I see that Wolves are one of those clubs that are interested in him, but we'll have to wait and see how this one happens. Um, at the moment, it's just a lot of speculation. Uh, the William Saliba one is still rumbling on. Still hasn't been done yet. A um, lot of us thought that this would be a deal that would get done pretty quickly. Um, it was the fee that seemed to be the problem. But it does seem to be this immediate loan back of William Saliba to St Etienne um, that seems to be the problem. Um, he's only 18, remember. St Etienne are saying that, listen, he still needs to develop as a player. And they want this loan back option kept in the contract. It seems like Arsenal would like to take him on a, um, you know, a permanent deal. I mean, it's a lot of money to outlay for a player that is only going to come over and then go straight back on loan. So it will be interesting to see how this one plays out. Will Arsenal get their man here with William Saliba? We'll have to wait and see how that one works out. Uh, linked still with this right back, um, Lucas Klosterman. Um, Klosterman of RB Leipzig, uh, German international as well, or G G German under-21 international. Um, and he continues to be linked with a move to Arsenal today. Right back. <coughs> I know a lot of you out there will be saying, well, listen, we've got Bellerin, we've got, you know, um, Maitland-Niles. It seems that Arsenal would like to bring in a specialist right back, um, Jenkinson looks like he's going to be moving on to Crystal Palace. Maitland-Niles, you know, did okay um, in that position, but it isn't really his position. And Bellerin is coming back, even though he's back in training, he's coming back on, on the end of quite a horrible injury. So who knows how long it's going to take him to get fully up to speed. And you want some proper competition for him, unlike what he had last year, um, you know, when we had a Lich Diner that didn't really work out. So uh, we'll have to keep an eye on this Klosterman thing to see if anything comes of it. But Arsenal continue to be linked with the um, RB Leipzig right back today. Uh, David Ospina has um, officially left the club. He's joined Napoli. Um, of course, he was at Napoli on loan, but that loan now has become a permanent move for David Ospina, the 30-year-old goalkeeper who basically in all his time at Arsenal has always been a number two. He has moved on. I'm um, in a deal reported to be worth around about um, 3.5 million euros. So a little bit of money going into the coffers of Arsenal. And will Arsenal try and make a move for Toby Alderweireld? Um, there's some publications going with that today that Arsenal are interested in him. I don't really see any uh, basis of that. I don't really see how they've linked this other than the fact that it's quite well known out there that he has a release clause of £25 million. Um, pounds. If you pay that release clause, you can get him. I very much doubt, even with the release clause, I very much doubt Tottenham would want to... I mean, it would be a PR disaster for Alderweire to end up at Arsenal. And uh, Alderweire himself, would he want to leave Tottenham and come to Arsenal? Um, he'd be looking over at Sol Campbell... I remember in all the abuse that he got for doing that. And remember, at least Sol Campbell was moving to like a team that was really looking to win things. Um, Alderweireld, if he does at the moment uh, move on, it's more likely that he'll move on to um, one of the other European teams. Roma linked with him. Um, top, top, you know, centre-back. We can't argue with that. But getting a bit older now as well. 30 now, Alderweireld. So... You know, but 25 million release clause is low. But I think Tottenham would be putting loads of obstacles in the way to make sure that that didn't happen. Um, let's get into a couple of your comments today. Um, 2018 Mafia says, Fakir, Nabil Fakir is on about, is faster and more dynamic. Um, I would sell Ozil for Fakir in a heartbeat. Remember, I asked that question yesterday and loads of you were responding to it. Um, Fakir, Nabil Fakir or Mesut Ozil, which one would you rather? I have to say by going through the comments, most of you, um, well, the vast majority of you would rather have in Nabil Fakir than Mesut Ozil. But, you know, I don't, Mesut Ozil will not be moving on anywhere. £350,000 a week he's on. No one's going to take that wages on. 
And even if you found a club in, say, China or whatever, who were willing to take it on, he has to agree to the move and he's happy in London. And uh, this one here, some AHW, he says, stop saying for care or Ozil, we should be looking at Zayech, who we can get for the same price. And every day I see loads of fans going on about why are Arsenal not moving for Zayech? Why are they not moving for Zayech? Zayac is still out there, still available. We've, he's had links with uh, like Sevilla. Um, he looks like he's definitely going to be moving on from Ajax, but it has been surprising that Arsenal haven't been taking um, a look at Zayac. I think you know he would be a quality player to bring in, um, but there doesn't seem to be any hot trail from Arsenal for Hakim Zayac, and I don't think he will be heading to um, North London this summer. Listen, thanks for watching the show. Don't forget, as I said, the link is in the description for those articles from Unibet. Some great transfer articles as well. So make sure you click onto those. Thanks for watching the show and we will be back tomorrow.